So the Nikon Z6, one of many cameras unable to record log internally without an external recorder, which obviously I don't have because then I probably wouldn't be making this video and I'm not the billionaire. So the Canon and Sony can record in log, but the Nikon can't, or can it? So, uh, actually, as it turns out, yes, it does. Or, well, sort of. Let me explain. Okay, so log. Um, I've got my assistant director here who's gonna help us out and... Wait, what's that? The mic's not... Oh yeah, I don't think the mic's... Is this thing... Is it on? Hello? Hello? I, I think I need to, uh... I think I need a... No, uh, one more time, man. Oh, that actually worked. Um, great, now we can actually hear what I'm saying. And so I guess this is the point of the video where I freeze up and don't really know what to say. So in all seriousness, let's actually try learn something together. And I think a good place to start would be picture profiles. So what is a picture profile? A picture profile is a menu for adjusting parameters that determine your image's characteristics. And pretty much every camera on the market ships with a predetermined set of picture profiles. Now, why does this matter? Well, it matters because usually the picture profiles given to us with the cameras we buy are set to include more contrast and saturation than than most people or filmmakers are actually comfortable with. So how and why would you want log on the Nikon Z6? Well, most people shoot in log because it retains way more highlight and shadow detail. This is what we call dynamic range. So what is dynamic range and why would you care about it? Well, dynamic range is basically our ability to see detail in the shadows and the highlights of an image or video or just real life. For instance, if I look outside, I can see the detail in the bright clouds, but I can also see the detail in the shadows inside. But sadly, my camera can't see both those things at the same time. It's got to choose, do I want to expose for the highlights or do I want to expose for the shadows? All right, so now that we know what dynamic range is, let's take a look at some comparison shots that I got with the log profile that I created versus the standard profile on the Nikon Z6. And immediately, as you can tell with the log profile, there's just quite a bit more detail in the shadows when we compare it to the standard picture profile. And this is great because when you come... But wait. This footage is literally trash and we can do better. So if that wasn't apparent, I very obviously had a B-roll itch that I needed to scratch quite badly. But anyway, so now that that's out the way, let's take a look at this footage. And the first thing that jumps out to me is just how harsh these highlights are. And actually when I recorded this clip, my camera's histogram told me that the frame was not overexposed. So let's try bring down the highlights now and see how much information we have here. And as you can see, there actually isn't that much here for us to work with, which honestly leaves me feeling kind of betrayed and cheated. So the only way to redeem my betrayal and mistreatment is to now switch over to the log profile. And it's definitely no secret that there is a significant amount more dynamic range preserved in this log profile as opposed to the standard picture profile. And we can see that even more so now when I switch over to the color graded log file, which as you can tell has preserved these highlights far better. And overall, I feel that there's just a quality to this frame now that just leads it to look a little more cinematic and not as harsh as the standard picture profile, which yeah, it's pretty harsh when you compare it to this. So if you've made it this far in the video and somehow I still haven't convinced you that you need log on your camera, then please just do yourself a favor and stop watching because the only thing we have left to do now is to install log on the Nikon Z6. Ooh, so the first thing you wanna do, uh, aside from laugh at my 
hilarious setup right now is dive straight into the computer, which we'll do now. Boop. And once we're in the computer, we're gonna download and install Picture Control Utility, which I've provided the link to in the description below. So once that's downloaded and installed, the first thing you're gonna do is fire it up. And once it's loaded up, you will find a beautiful picture. Sadly, not this beautiful picture of me, because uh, this is from a trip I just went on. But this is a really good example of how different picture profiles affect your image which is coming out of the camera. So if we swap over here to standard and we like to get some more dynamic range out of this picture profile, the first thing you'd think you'd do is lower the contrast and you'd be right in saying that. However, as you can tell, it's improved it a bit, but not by that much actually. So this is the trick. This is how you get a log profile on the Nikon Z6, how you create a log profile on the Nikon Z6. So pretty much all you need to do is enable this right here custom curve and with this tool we're going to be able to get so much more shadow detail and a little bit more highlight detail out of the Nikon picture profile so as you can tell I'm doing this really quickly so it's probably going to look super janky but I mean look at that already so much more detail out of the shadows but unless you love doing this kind of thing and fiddling around to get the exact precise little setting you're probably going to find this whole process a massive headache and if you make just a super quick non-linear curve like i did you're going to have terrible highlight roll off you're going to have bad shadow detail introducing more noise than it needs to and ultimately this type of profile is just going to give you more problems than it's worth so I've taken the liberty of spending quite a few hours designing a log profile for you to download for free. So you can find that below in the description. And I guess the next thing we'll do is learn how to install that. So let's jump straight into it. So now that you have this log profile in your computer, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our formatted SD card. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to name it Nikon. In that folder, we are going to create a new folder and name that custom PC. And in that folder, we are going to take our JLog, drag it over. And once that's done, we can take the SD card, put it in our camera. And from there, we're going to go into the menu. We're going to go into the manage picture control settings. Then we are going to load the profile onto the camera. And then when we name it, I would probably recommend keeping a JLog because I think that is a pretty good name for a log profile. And yeah, that's literally it. You can now go activate log on your camera. The video is over. 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 So now that the tutorial is done, I guess you don't really need me for anything more. Plus I'm a bit sick. So I can't really film an epic outro anyway. So I guess the only thing left to do is to let the clip roll of me falling out of a dustbin. Mm. I kind of really want the vibe of like it filming the thing. So we've got the we've got the shot that we want, we've got the screenshot that we want to like, compare. And then I kind of want as you Jeez. 